welcome back to Just Nigeria, the show for today's social media generation. I am Wali Fakile. Thanks for staying with us. Coming up, the social worker helping internally displaced persons settle into a new life. But first, wearing face masks is the new normal as some governments around the world are urging their citizens to stay safe in public while protecting themselves from the coronavirus. However, uh, medical experts say face masks do not provide total protection. So how much protection do face masks offer and how can you tell an effective face mask from a mere cloth? Have a look. Depending on where you live, you may be asked to wear a face mask. In some countries, it's now illegal to leave your home without one. But with masks in short supply, how can you be sure the mask you're using is safe? And how much protection does any mask really offer? There are two kinds of disposable masks that should be reserved for frontline workers that protect the wearer from tiny droplets and particles that could transmit the virus. The most effective is the N95 respirator, which can filter 95% of airborne particles. It's thick and rigid and designed to fit tightly, forming a seal around the nose and mouth. It should have stamps showing the filter designation N95, the NIOSH name or logo in block letters, the approval number, and the lot and model numbers. Even if you have a real N95, bear in mind that it only works well if you have the right size for your face. They don't work so well on children and people with facial hair, and remember, they can only be worn once. The same is true for the second most effective mask, the surgical or three-ply mask. These filter as much as 80% of airborne droplets and particles. As the name suggests, three-ply masks are made from three layers. An outer layer intended to repel water, blood, and body fluids. A middle layer designed to stop germs from entering or exiting the mask. And an inner layer intended to absorb water, sweat, and spit. And since both 3-ply and N95 masks are in short supply, the World Health Organization says they should only be used by medical workers. So many countries are urging citizens to use masks made of cloth instead. But how effective these are depends on the fabric you use and how often you wash them. The American Centers for Disease Control suggests using cotton. The more tightly woven and the higher the thread count, the better. Avoid fabrics that let too much light filter through when you hold them to the sun, and your mask will need to be at least two layers of fabric, and have straps to hold it firmly in place, and it should cover your face from the top of your nose to below your chin. Experts recommend washing your mask after each use, so it's best to have one to wash and one to wear. Whatever mask you use, don't touch your face while using it, and once you've removed it, wash your hands with soap and water or use an alcohol-based rub. Above all, remember that wearing a mask does not make you invincible. The best ways to protect yourself from coronavirus are still regular hand washing and, where possible, staying two meters away from other people. <laughs> 